See these three boxes here? They represent a chore, but they also represent a blessing. The Bible talks a lot about preparing. For example, the Israelites had a big chore they had to do before Passover every year. They had to do a thorough cleaning of their homes and remove all the leaven. Or there's examples like um, Jesus talked about in John 14, 3. He said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and receive you to myself so that where I am, you may be also. So before he's inviting us to come and join him, he's preparing for that celebration and for that homecoming. And so today, we are beginning our preparation for our Christmas celebration. I don't particularly enjoy putting up the tree, but I do enjoy celebrating Christmas, and anything that's worth celebrating is worth preparing for. So, here we go. This is our tree. As you can see, it's um, quite two-dimensional and flat and ugly. Um, but the first thing we do is we remove all these branches, uh, and they're all sorted by size. And then after we put all the different piles of the sizes, then we have to fluff each and every one of these branches. And this is Mike's favorite part, <laughs> is the fluffing. Our tree's been sitting in storage, somewhat neglected, for almost a year. Maybe there are parts of our own lives that haven't received enough attention, too. Perhaps they're like those squished branches a bit misshapen, and out of place. God's in the process of preparing us, too, ready to fluff us back up again and restore us more toward our intended shape. His hands know how to reshape us. He straightens crooked parts and restores fullness in our lives. Even though we sometimes feel like we've been broken into a hundred pieces, He gently puts each part back together again. We started putting our tree together before Thanksgiving but only completed the upper branches. Now you see us in a change of clothes. Thank goodness we started early, because little did we know that I would end up on crutches over Thanksgiving and wouldn't be able to climb the ladder to do the high parts. Our tree's pretty old, and every year pieces of some of the branches fall apart. You'll see Barb fixing them at the kitchen island by taping them back together again. Sometimes we need fixing too. So we keep preparing one step at a time fixing, putting branches in place, installing lights, adding decorations. The process of preparing takes time. But in the end, it'll be worth it. We'll have a special home for the many gifts of love that will be shared on Christmas morning. We finished putting together our tree, but we know God's still at work in us, repairing us, fluffing us back into shape, and bringing beauty into our lives. As we ready ourselves for Christmas celebrations, let's also invite God to prepare our hearts. Thanks for trekking with the foxes.